Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my monthly favorites and fails. So I do this every month. I come back at the end of the month slash beginning of the next month and go over everything that I used in the month, everything new that came into my collection, either brand new or just new to me, and give you some further thoughts on it. So a lot of these things are things I've done videos on, but some of them I haven't or I've just used, you know, more off camera. Um, this one is going to be a lot more off camera than on camera just because I didn't post that much stuff in January, but very excited to talk about these things, especially the stuff that I haven't really shown that much. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Colin. I'm a non-binary Latinx scientist and lover of makeup with a definite soft spot for indie makeup and high-end makeup, which you will see both here today, especially the high-end side. And I tend to take a pretty analytical approach to the content I make, be it doing a review of new product, or just talking about things that I already know and love, and I have new videos every week, so I'd love to have you subscribe. Okay, so this should hopefully not be the longest video. The last one of these I did was very long, but it was like two months worth of product. Um, so this should be relatively fast uh, and straightforward, but I am very excited to talk about some of these things because some of them I haven't really talked about on camera. Um, if you're curious about my makeup, I'll have the all the details in the description box like normal. Um, it's a bunch of Lisa Eldridge products. Um, so I have a little bit of her foundation around here. I have my House Labs concealer on, um, and then the eyeshadow and blush and lipstick are all things that you will see in a few minutes. For the products, I normally try to categorize this as like fails up front and then we'll work our way into the things that I did enjoy. Um, I typically don't really like to have fails just because it means I wasted my money uh, and I want to like all the products that I buy uh, since I do buy most of the stuff featured on the channel, although I am getting more and more PR. I actually have two PR boxes sitting here and two more on the way and there's a bunch of stuff over here that's not announced and I am very excited for people to see. <laughs> Um, so, lots of new stuff coming soon. I know one of these will be coming up probably in the next week. The others I don't have definitive dates for, but in the next month or so, you're going to be seeing a bunch of really cool things. So, make sure you're subscribed if you want to see those, because I will have videos like the day I'm allowed to post. <laughs> so, four fails. I don't really have any true fails this month. I do have one item that I do have a full review on, um, that is not, I also like to say for favorite, let's just do a little preference here for favorites and fails. If something is a favorite for me, it might not be for you. And if something is a fail for me, it also might not be for you. Makeup is highly subjective. And just because I don't enjoy something doesn't mean that you will also not enjoy it. You might love it. You know, we all have different skin tones, skin types preferences for coverage and textures and all of that. So I always try to give that preference in general, but also when I'm talking about products, tell you why I'm enjoying it or why I'm not so that you understand my perspective um, and why it, if you have a different preference, it might work for you instead of me. But uh, I've gotten some like angry comments when I haven't liked things lately. So I just wanted to give that explicitly. Um, but. The first thing that is kind of a fail for me is the About Face Foundation. So I actually have returned this technically. I did ask for a refund and they told me I didn't need to send it back. They're just giving me my money back. So who knows, maybe if I end up moving in the next year to a different climate, I would like this more like a drier climate, like if I move back to Brooklyn or something, I don't know. So I'm, I guess I can keep trying it, but I've had this for a few weeks now did post a full video last week, um, reviewing it with multiple wear tests and all of that. So I will have that link above uh, if you are interested, but this is just not made for me. I do really, I think the undertone is really good. I think the shade selection is great. I like that it has skincare in it, but they refer to this as a soft focused finish, which implies generally um, like a demi matte. And that's very much not what this is. This is very glowy. So the people I've seen really love this have drier skin. And I think if you have drier skin or dehydrated skin, you're really gonna like this, especially with those skincare ingredients. If you have normal to oily or normal to combo skin, don't know if you'll love this. It's worth trying, it's $22. 
if you, you can return it like I did, or you can get it from Ulta or something. So it's worth trying. I generally think you shouldn't buy products if you know you're gonna hate it, because then it's just wasteful of your money and, you know, the product itself. But I can see pros and cons for this. It's just not for me. I'm gonna try using it as like a mix-in, because this is slightly darker than some of the other foundations I have, and maybe I'll like it as mixed in with moisturizer or something. It's just very, very glowy and will not set on my skin, even with, setting powder um and i did like the way this looked when i used it with the surat primer but i just don't think that a 22 dollar foundation should have should need a hundred dollar primer to look good and that's where it was just like it's not worth the effort for me um when i worn this to work i feel like it looked okay but i had to just keep reapplying setting powder multiple times to get it to look how i wanted or use a lot of matte products underneath it as well like it's just it's a lot of effort when I have things I know and love that give me, like the Lisa Eldridge foundation is what I'm wearing today, you know, right, you know, around my, where I have redness here and a little bit around my jawline, um, not full face. I'm not typically a full face person. I don't like it all over my face. I tend to get a shade that works really well and I kind of spot patchwork, like Lisa Eldridge calls it, my foundation. That's something I started doing a long time ago. Um, and I just think, it, looks better, feels better. Um, and this is just very, very glowy on me. So I think you could really love it. I will have also have all of this stuff linked down below, but for me, it's just not perfect. So, on to the things that I have been really loving. And I would say I really like all of the things down here. Um, I have one tool and then one perfume, no skincare, no new skincare, and then we'll get into makeup. So I'm gonna do the perfume first. So I have been really wanting to try this brand called Fern. Uh, if you haven't heard of them, they're a very small batch uh, perfume company. And their whole thing is that once a season, and they make a seasonal perfume, they make a small batch of it. And once it's gone, it's gone. And you have to join like a wait list to be on the ledger. So we joined months and months and months ago and got offered a spot on the ledger for the winter. I was really hoping for the fall. The fall one sounded really good, but I got a spot on the winter one and they sent it to you. So when you get it, I'm gonna open this up so you don't see my address. You get a box, obviously, um, with, you've got notes and information up here. You've got some really beautiful art here. And then you get a little, uh, a little side box that has a sample of it so you can try it before you fully purchase it. So they charge you the money, but if you try the sample and you're like, this is not for me, they re you can return it without opening it. Um, Cause it is like $120 or something per bottle. And then the actual perfume is in this box right here. So you pull this out and break the seal if you wanna keep it. And then it says Fern Winter 2024. This is, um, it has like the batch number on it. This is bottle 306 out of 400. So like very limited. Um, everything's sustainably made. These are made in England. And then you open it up and you've got the uh, cardboard thing that you can use to store it if you want. And it's really, really beautiful. So this is the bottle. It says organic eau de parfum. Fern, um, and it has just some basic information. So this is one fluid ounce of perfume, and I've been wearing this so much. It's kind of white florally, which is not normally my thing, if you've been around here. So uh, let's see, what does it say the notes are? So the top notes are sweet orange rind, and they actually list where the ingredients are sourced from, so that's from Brazil. Peppermint from Yakima Valley, Washington, which is not far from us. Lemon rind from Italy, tarragon leaf from France, juniper berry from Slovenia, middle notes of rose from Morocco, blue gum eucalyptus from China, <laughs> rosemary leaf, I'm gonna stop saying where they're all from, uh, palmarosa, clove bud, bergamot rind, lavender, and then base notes of jasmine, sambac, balsam fir, red cedar, and vetiver. And 
it does have, because of the rose, and I think it's the rose, the lavender, I think those are probably the two things that give it a little bit more, and then the jasmine, give it, and the base note, give it a little bit more of that white floral note, but there's also more citrus. I feel like this is a little more citrusy than the sample was, which is a good thing. And I've been wearing it so much. Um, it's, it's like a little bit of citrus, a little bit of white, and then the, the dry down is like, every once in a while you get a little bit of the citrus still, you get a little bit of the jasmine, and then you get that like balsam vetiver. So it's like, it's earthier. It's not earthy. I wouldn't call this an earthy fragrance, but it's a little earthier than a typical floral fragrance. And it's the first floral fragrance where I've been like, I want that, I'm keeping this. So very excited to have this and really happy that we finally got on the ledger. And I can't wait to see what they do for spring. Um, Cause the fall one also sounded great and I really wish I could have gotten it. Um, and summer, I think summer of last year also sounded nice. I've been on the wait list for a while. So very excited about that. It's kind of a slur to spend a hundred dollars, but it's hundred dollars a season. And, you know, it could be your only perfume, but I think it's a very fun experiment and I'm very happy to have it. Okay, so the next thing is tools. So I do not have the new Sonia G brushes, the Tradition set. I do really want them and I'm worried that they're going to sell out and I want all of them. Like you can buy them individually or a bundle and I want all six of them. So I'm going to buy those probably as soon as I'm done filming because I just, I was waiting for like Alicia Archer and to see who else posted videos and seeing the few videos that have been posted confirmed, yes, I do want all six of these. And I've gotten, they're over my normal budget for the month, <laughs> which I've also spent, um, but already for February, I've spent most, well, I also got a gift card, so I spent most of it, but I got a bunch of, I got, you know, my November, December affiliate money. So I think that's just gonna go towards buying those brushes. But I also did buy, the this year's um, Beauty Lush Lunar New Year brush. So I did use this today. I've used it a few times. This is, uh, if you don't know, they do a new brush every year. They're specifically designed for that Lunar New Year and that Zodiac sign. I think the actual brushes are all the same and they're all adorable. I would totally buy all of them. I think the piggy one, the pig is maybe my other favorite. Um, this is squirrel hair. So it is a natural hair. It is very, very soft. This is the softest brush I own now. And I am, I was born in 88, so I'm the year of the dragon. And that's what this one was. So I was waiting for that one to be released. I apologize for my chipping nails. <laughs> um, and it gives me Spyro vibes in the best way. It was one of my favorite games as a kid. It's this beautiful purple dragon, hand painted. And then you've got this really soft brush. I use this for both my bronzer and my blush today. It's so soft, zero regrets buying this, and I honestly want the other ones, even though I have no need for multiple of the same cheek brush, just because, especially at 100. I had a Beautylish gift card, so I paid $100, but these are 125, and so it's definitely like a, I'm glad I got mine. Um, I would love to have the others, but I don't need like, you know, five to 12 of identical $100 brushes. So, okay, so the last thing before I get into true makeup makeup, I forgot this is does technically count as skincare, and it is the Lisa Aldridge setting spray. So I bought the Lisa Aldridge cleanser months back, love it. Even days where I'm not wearing makeup, I will use it as a mask. When it's low, I'm buying another one. It's been out of stock for a while, but she said it should be back in stock soon. And when I had, a I had a coupon or a discount code because of the whole tier system she's included. Um, and I wanted to buy some other stuff, but a lot of it was sold out, like some brushes, but I did buy this. Um, and I really like this. If you want a more mattifying setting spray or like a really like lock it in spray, this is not that, but this does have a lot of skincare benefits in it. It's a very nice fine mist and it does really melt everything together. It does have the Film X, I think that's what she calls it product that's in her highlighter and foundation that like the self-setting agent the like thing that forms a mesh on your skin so it does set and i have used this 
on days I'm not wearing makeup as well, just to like mist my face. It does give a nice healthy glow without being like too shiny or looking greasy. And it does just melt everything really t together really nicely if I need. Like if I'm gonna be, you know, depending on what I'm wearing, I might use the Milk Matte Spray as well or my Urban Decay. I do have like the standard all nighter still. Um, but I am very happy I finally bought this and I think it just melts the makeup together really nicely. So uh, I did want to mention that because I've been using that for a few, I bought that around the end of last year. So I've been using it for over a month now. Okay. So one of the few videos I posted in January was the Floresis or Florosis, uh, their new collection. They did send that to me in PR and I have been using it a bunch and I really enjoy it. Um, I saw, I've seen some mixed things about this. So I've seen some people say that they think it, it's offensive because they're using like the Nomadic style um, because it's like the Nomadic Glam collection for Mongolia or like the, you know, Mongolian steppe or the steppe uh, part of Central to East Asia. Um, and I've seen people who are from that part of the world say like, I'm so excited to see something showing our tr culture and our traditional like patterns and stuff. So I've seen some people excited and some people say that they think it's controversial to do that. So I don't have an opinion. I'm not part of that culture, so I can't speak on that. But I do really like the products that they sent. So there is an eyeshadow palette, a powder, a blush, and a lipstick. This is a liquid lipstick, but in like the more silicone kind, like the Kaleidos lip clays, but this is thinner than those. And it's like the perfect, I'm not wearing it today, but it is like the perfect My Lips But Better shade. It lasts really well. I have this in my work bag. I've been wearing it a lot. Even on no makeup days, I'll sometimes have this on and like maybe mascara. Um, it's just a really nice lipstick. Really like this formula. I don't know if they have other shades, but I hope they do because I really like this. Um, and then the powder, there's two powders that came out with this. This one is the blurring powder, and then there's one that's like super oil absorbing. I know Khaki got both. I only got this one. There's two shades, like a pale beige and then a just beige. This is the beige one. This is what I used under my eyes. And this is mattifying without being too mattifying. It's very blurring. I really like this. Um, I do think there should be more shades because if you're darker than me, I. This could be a brightening shade if you're darker than me, but I think it's not the most inclusive shade range, but it's a really nice formula. Packaging, really nice. Um, yeah, I really like this. I'm curious what the other one is like as well um, for people who need more oil control. And then there is the blush. This is the Peony Rosy Blush, uh, and they call it a cream blush, and it's, not really a cream blush, but not really a powder. It's like a very dense, it's kind of like a cream to powder eyeshadow. If that, like if you've tried some of those where it's technically a powder, but it's so creamy that it behaves a little differently. Um, I have some eyeshadows like that in, coming up in a minute, but it's a really pretty color. It is one I'm wearing today. I put down Macchiato from Khaki's first collab down, and then I put a little bit of this on top, um, just because I've been, I instinctively grab Macchiato as my go-to blush now. And then I was like, oh, I'm talking about this. I should put some of this on too. And I really like the effect of the two together. It's just a really beautiful formula. I hope they have more colors in this as well because I really like this. And then this is the palette, which is called the Into the Wild palette. And then each picture is supposed to be representative of the step culture and the step. So there's the not work pattern here. There's the horses. Uh, you've got like water, mountains, clouds, sky. like you've got the different natural elements in here. This is really pretty. I have the other palette that they sent me as well right here. Really like both of these. Um, I think this one has, so you've got one like just shiny, glowy, kind of uh, champagne shade. And then you've got these two really sparkly ones. I really like them. I think the mattes are all kind of effortless to use. It's very earthy. It's very much a me color story. Um, and I think the quality is great. So I'm very happy that they sent this to me. 
Um, and yeah, I will have that link down below. If you don't know, they are a Chinese luxury brand, and I definitely think the prices are, the packaging feels like pretty luxurious, uh, especially in like some of the other ones, like the lipstick that came with this. Um, but the price isn't too, it's not like Chanel prices, it's like more mid, like along the mid tier price point for a lot of American brands, but it's lovely. Okay, so I have two lip things I wanna mention, and then a few eyeshadows and we're done. So I got some money for Christmas and there were some sales going on. So I splurged and bought some luxury makeup that I've been wanting. Um, I will show you the eyeshadow components in a minute, but I will show you the lip things first. So the first thing is the lip I'm wearing now, which I should probably reapply, and it is Hermes. <laughs> I never thought I would pay this much money for a lipstick, although I have one that's more expensive um, right here. This was, I don't remember if this one was actually on sale or if I had, I think I had like a first time shopping at Bloomingdale's discount or something. But this is from their limited edition, I think fall collection. This is the Prune Noir shade. I feel bullied by khaki. <laughs> I was definitely influenced by khaki for buying this. Um, as soon as like it looked pretty, I wanted all three. The brick color, I also really want. Love the packaging, blue and green are my favorite colors. And there's this purple down here and then teal and there's kind of the black blue in the middle. Packaging, beautiful. And then the color is this really beautiful sheer purple that I was like, I already thought it would look really interesting. And then I saw Khaki wear it and I heard her talk about how n nice it would look on an olive undertone. And I was like, yep, I agree. And I'm gonna buy it when I have the money to splurge. And I'm very happy I did. The component is beautiful and reusable. So if I ever finish this, I can, I won't really be able to re buy this, but I could put a different lipstick in it or I could just buy another one and swap them out. It's got a really nice magnet. I'm keeping it in this little pouch that it comes in. I have zero regrets. It's very comfortable. One of the most comfortable like hydrating lips that I've used. I can wear it in a really sheer wear layer or build it up a little bit. My lips, it kind of stains them in like the nice way where they just look better after, even after it's faded. Zero regrets, really love it and want the brick one too and maybe some others. It's that like once you try certain luxury things and you like it, then you like can't go back. The other expensive lipstick that I bought is I finally bought the Ismea lipstick. So I got a 20% off code from Ismea. They had emailed like complete the survey for a discount. So I was like, okay, I'll do a survey for a discount. And uh, I finally bought one of the lipsticks. So at the end of last year, they did launch more of the lip, like lips is the name of the collection. So they did launch more of those. Um, I bought the brown and then the purple, very different from this purple, love both. Um, so these are, you can just buy it and use it like this, um, or you can pop it out and put it in one of the cases. And so I could have bought the black, the pink and the red that were the original like phallic case I could have just bought those colors, but I just wanted the stupid, expensive metal palette case. So hopefully I don't get demonetized for this. <laughs> but, um, and if you don't wanna see it, you can skip ahead. But I have zero regrets buying this, all, except for that this is, this is hefty. Like this is a $100 lipstick, $90, something like that. And I paid 70. So I paid about the same that I paid, that this cost. Yeah, I paid $70. Um, this is a great lipstick. One of my um, subscribers who is really sweet, she uh, has this and has mentioned it a bunch, how it's one, her favorite red lip, and I love a red lip. And uh, that she even bought like the red by itself in this, so she had both. And I was like, that's like a sign. Like, I, I, I trust that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. And I love this. It is very heavy. <laughs> it is magnetic as well, so it, it locks in place really nicely. And I can, you know, pop this out and just use this if I wanted to or swap it with one of the others. It is a cream red 
blue red classic red i've worn this a couple times so far and i have zero regrets the only thing is i would say it's a little hard to put on because this is so heavy like this weighs like i think it was like three or four hundred grams when i weighed it um so you have to like be careful because you know you want to be precise with a red lip so that's the only complaint so if you don't want a very heavy lipstick just avoid it and buy one of these because these are also like thirty dollars not a hundred but like the novelty of it the weight of it the everything like i i love it and i i have zero regrets so it lives on in my bathroom all out at all times <laughs> um okay so filming for longer than i thought i would i've just had a lot to say so i've got some eyeshadow palettes and a couple singles left. So first I wanna mention, kind of honorable mention because I haven't used them that much. I have some singles from Shine by SD and from Kleona. So I bought my first, I bought the Kleona Dragon Fruit palette. What was that, like a year ago? And I liked the shades. I thought it was a little more satin, a little more mm, like meh than like the people who got in PR like hyped it up and I was underwhelmed. I was whelmed. I was underwhelmed. No, I was, I was underwhelmed. I was like, was I whelmed? No, I think I was just underwhelmed. Um, it, some of them are really pretty overall just kind of, eh, the packaging sucked. The packaging has fully broken. So I have them depotted in here, but I finally bought some just singles from Cleona to try. And then I have some, Shine by SD ones that I've talked about a few times. So these are the shades I bought here. I bought these four and then they sent this fifth one as a free gift with purchase. Um, I've worn two of these so far. So that's why it's more of an honorable mention. They're beautiful. So I wore Sculpture and I wore, I forget the name of this one, but this one is one of the newer ones and it's one of the like multifaceted multichromes. Each is a different finish. I think this one's really textured and beautiful. I think I like this one more though. It's like very smooth and creamy, but then when the light hits it, you see all the little sparkles. I think they're really beautiful. I don't understand why they seem to get more hype than like Davina or Terra Moons or Shine May SD. I feel like the quality is pretty similar across the board, but really, and I, I love those other ones. So I feel like um, just really nice. I'm excited to keep playing with them and trying them. Um, and then I've talked about the Earthborn shadows that I got from Riley Seeking Shifts collab a bunch. Um, but I won a giveaway from Shine by SD and then I never got the products. So I got these, but not Others of Siren. So these never came. So I had, it took a very long time to get them. There was some hassle. Um, Customer service was not great, although they eventually did send them because um, they just weren't in the package. And I immediately opened and sent pictures of like, hey, they're not here. And then was told basically, you're lying. And then they eventually did send them and they're really beautiful. I think the formula is really great. I have only tried, I haven't tried every single one that they've sent. I haven't tried these ones down here, but I've tried a couple of these, really like them. Excited to keep playing with all of these more and to give th further thoughts later, but I did want to mention them since I finally got these recently and I've been using them a little bit more and I finally, and these just came in these months. So if you'd like videos talking about those once I have more opinions, let me know and I can definitely do that. Okay, so the, lo the other thing that I bought, and this was, these were on sale um, with that Christmas money was I bought two of the Shantikai shadows. These are like $54 or $56 a piece, which is ridiculous. Like these are like $18, you know, my term ones were like $15. So these are very expensive. You do get a decent amount of product. You get 2.5 grams, which is more than most of those. Um, a lot of those are like one gram. So times that by two, you're at like, still not $56, but still, you know, a lot more. But these, I think I paid like $40 for each of these. And 
I have zero regrets and want more of them. I bought, so I bought Rhino, and which is this like dark olive shade, and I've worn this one a bunch. And then I bought Pangolin, which is a dusky, dusty lilac, they say. And I really love these. They're smooth, they're like a baked gel uh, to powder formula. They're very smooth, work well with the brush or just my finger is how I generally do them. They really shine in low light. Like I might have a clip that I can include here of me like wearing Pangolin outside while I was taking, <laughs> when I was waiting for Bean to pee. And you could see, cause it was like not quite fully dark out. You could see just how sparkly it is. So beautiful. Um, I really want Elephant and then maybe one of the more warm tone shades, but I have zero regrets buying these. I, I think they're really beautiful. If you'd like an actual like in-depth review where I swatch them and talk about the nuance between them and other things, I can definitely do that. But yeah, zero regrets. Really happy I could splurge with that Christmas. I mean, I could buy them with my own money too, but it felt less you know, when I have like a set budget every month for the channel, <laughs> spending like all of it on a couple of these feels a little weird. Um, when, but when it's Christmas money, whatever. Um, okay. And then I have three, look, three expensive luxury eyeshadow palettes here. Oh, and one other one. So. Uh, let's do the indie palette first. So this is the Nomad uh, New Zealand Stargazing palette. This was sent to me in PR. I do have a video with this and I have been using this off camera since then and I love this. I think this is one of the best things they've done. Um, the matte formula is really beautiful. The multi-chromes in here are better than their, I mean, I liked their old multi-chromes that they had in the Royal Europe palette, but I think these are even better. Uh, these are on par with single multi-chromes that you could buy, I think. Really lovely. Um, I do have a discount code with Nomad, it's just Bones, and it's not affiliated, so it just saves you money. Um, I don't earn any commission or anything, but this is great. I do think, I kind of wish one of these was darker, so you've got this pale peach and then this like pale taupe. Um, I wish one of, there was like one more darker mid-tone shade, but I think it fits the theme beautifully. Everything performs well. I have a video with swatch comparisons, all of that. Um, really love this. Really excited to see what they do this year because this started the year off great. And then um, one of the other things that I bought uh, around kind of with Christmas money, but is my first Tom Ford quad. So technically I do have another Tom Ford quad that was gifted to me from Cam Cloverum that was gifted to them by Tom. I hope that's Tom. And I do like that one. I'm still trying to figure out what I think because I've used two of the four shades for like a black smoky sparkly eye and I really like it for that. This is a different formula. This is the cream one and this is the Velours Khaki palette that was limited edition sometime last year. I've wanted this since it came out and I did see some people not like this. I did rewatch like a ton of reviews before I bought it. Um, and a lot of people were like, it's too dark, it's too smoky. And I was like, eh, smoky green look is like my go-to. So like, I'm fine with that. Um, this shade is literally like my skin tone. So it doesn't really show up, but it does blend the edges of things nicely. And then you've got this taupe shade, this sparkly olive shade, and then this dark green, like kind of matte shade. Um, I've used this a handful of times now, really love it, don't regret it. The formula in this just kind of melts into the lid. I do think it's a bit, a, you know, it's a, like a $90 quad, um, but I don't regret buying it. Um, and the reason I finally did was I was thinking about buying it, I was at Nordstrom, because this is not on the Tom Ford website, not at Sephora, nowhere else. And I was looking at Sephora, or not Sephora, I was at Nordstrom, looking at something else looking at these <laughs> and I asked the employee, I was like, I went over to the Tom Ford area to look at it. I was like, I wonder if they have it. I looked at it there once before. I want to look at it again and maybe I'll buy it with the last of my um, splurgy money is what I'll refer to it as. And I 
asked the employee, she was like, no, I don't have that anymore. And then she's like, but I can order it for you. And then she looked and she was like, okay, so <laughs> I know it's limited edition. We were talking about uh, all of the stuff that they're discontinuing, like the foundation and reformulating because that's why all those Tom Ford products have been on sale. And uh, she was like, well, it looks like Nordstrom, the company has five of them in stock. That's it. And then it'll be gone. And I couldn't find it anywhere else. So I bought it. <laughs> and I have zero regrets. Um, <laughs> uh, it's not, it's not as, uh, it's not like the pack quads that I have where I can do lots of looks. I can do kind of like two looks with this, but I really like those looks and they're like my go-to color. So I'm happy. And then the last luxury purchases are, I bought two more Lee Seldridge palettes. So I already had sorcery. Love it, use it all the time. Uh, and I've wanted Vega since it came out and it's been sold out for about a year. So it finally came back in stock and I bought it immediately. I do, I am wearing Vega today. And if you would like a video about it with swatches and all of that, let me know. I could do like a get ready with me with some swatches or something. So just let me know, like, is this worth waiting a year for? Spoiler alert, I think so. I really love it. I've used the black shade for a smoky eye. The metallics in here are beautiful. This French gray shade is very pale on me, but an okay blending out shade if I was using like the the blue um, for like that gray blue look. Um, I'm wearing this, this is Turbulence, yeah. Turbulence is like, it looks pretty neutral here. It's like neutral to cool transition, like con eye contour shade. And then I have a little bit of lamp black and then I have both shimmers on the lid. And I really love this. I really love Lisa's formulas. Yes, this is like $60 and they're tiny, but I think the formula is worth it for me because of how much, how easy it is to use, how enjoyable it is to use, the effect it gives. I, I really love it. I like, I'm really growing to, from like day to day looks, loving a more like luxury formula. Um, and then when I have a little more time or want to be a little more bold, grabbing something like the Nomad. Um, and then the other one is Cinnabar. So this I got from, uh, not from Lisa, but from a person. Um, they had it and were selling it for a discount because they didn't want it. They bought one of the holiday sets that had included it. Um, and so I bought this from them uh, and have zero regrets. Really, really love it. It's one of those where I wanted it, but I didn't want to pay full price because I could definitely dupe this. Um, so you've got like a perfect warm transition versus, you know, neutral to cool. You've got a more red tone shade and a nice deep shade here. Um, the shimmers are both really pretty. So you have more of a rosy gold and more of a copper, um, like more of a bronze and more of like coppery. I should say, and then you have the top coat. And I know a lot of people hate, a lot of people are disappointed in this. A lot of people don't like top coats. I think the problem with top coats, like topper shades like that, is they're meant to be the inner, like a sparkly inner corner, or like just add a little bit of subtle sparkle somewhere, or you can put them over a matte for like a subtle look, or putting them over a cream shadow, like putting an eyeliner down and putting that on, adds a little more sparkle. But I think most people are expecting like, I think, especially in the YouTube world, they're expecting an iridescent duochrome or an iridescent, like one of these kind of intense iridescent shades or like a super sparkly astral shade from Pat. And that's not what these advertise themselves as and that's not what they are. And then people get mad that they aren't what they built up in their head even though they never said they were. So I enjoy both of these a lot and have zero regrets. Um, if you'd like videos on them, let me know. You know, they're permanent and I know she's supposed to be coming out with more in like April. So I will probably just splurge and buy them when they come out instead of waiting forever like I did. Okay, I feel like I'm losing my voice. Thankfully I'm done with this. I do wanna to try to film one more thing because I am trying to get back into the habit of having multiple videos a week um, and pre-filming. So I will probably have one more video come out with this makeup look and then, yeah. Uh, and then I've gotta go eat dinner. So let me know what you think of all of these products. Have you tried any of them? I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions as always. 
Thank you so much for watching and remember to like and subscribe. It helps a lot and I will see you all in my next video.